Right, hello everyone. Uh, this is the first pay per view or big event for uh, Randy Savage's World Pro Wrestling, which is his company that he has formed in 2001 to try to challenge Vince McMahon and his uh, WWE. Yeah, it's been shown on VH1. No pay per view deal yet, so just showing them as TV specials at the moment. And yeah. I'm ready to go for the show now. I've got it all booked in, so here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna run the show. Right, so yeah, uh, it's ooh. I'll tell you what. I don't know where the MA Conte forum is. Uh, yeah, I forgot to pick the venue. So well, it's automatically picked the venue for me then, which is in. I can't remember where it's. I think it said it was going to do it in the. Uh, we're based in the Great Lakes, and I've got a funny feeling that this is not in the Great Lakes. Where's that Minnesota? Maybe it is. Yeah, so <laughs> straight in with a hundred rated segment. That's amazing. Uh, so yeah, Randy Savage show opening. Um, basically, just him on his own entertainment rated segment that that's it um with someone with his skills it's always got a chance of popping a huge rating which is done there and that's really good that kind of bodes well for the rest of the show good improvising oh god all the gimmicks i haven't checked all the gimmicks uh okay well let's hope they're all good then no i have done I, yeah no i've done a few of the gimmicks i've done a few of the gimmicks I just haven't checked. I've turned lots of people from face and heel. I'm pretty sure I got it all sorted. I just had a bit of a panic there because I thought, oh Christ, everyone's debuting their gimmick on this show, and I haven't, I haven't gone through everyone and seen how suitable their gimmicks are. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, uh, weak announcing. That's. I mean, you can't. I can't do a lot about that. They're the best announcing team I could. I could feasibly sign, so yeah, that's gonna hopefully with a bit of uh, experience between those two, it'll get a little bit better. But that's really bad if it's gonna it's gonna drag. That must have been a huge rating if it's not managed to drag it off the hundred. Yeah, that's pretty good though. It deserved better announcing and color commentary. But what are you gonna do? It's an in-ring promo. They don't need to say much anyway. Yeah, no improvements. So, yeah, that's what we went for. Six minute segment. And that's it. Uh, just a custom angle, really. No road agent. What happens here then? Uh, yeah. Just the, just the announcing poo. Just a rubbish announcing. Right, next sego. Uh, so it's Dego, Dego, Devon Storm against Aguila. And about there, subpar wrestling, a little heat. Devon Storm defeat Aguila in 12.49 by pinfall using underhanded tactics, which gets us a 50. For a sort of mid cardy match, that's probably not too bad. Uh, a 49 for Devon Storm and a 43 for Aguila. And their gimmicks came through okay. Aguila's got a blue chipper. I didn't really think that was good anyway, so that might not be staying around too long. Yeah, so let's let's keep going. That's the opening match. Well, not the most amazing opening match in the world, but I had to open it with something. You know, I've left some of the better matches sort of further up the card because I haven't got the crowd management on for this one because I think it just makes you book the shows in a certain way that isn't always the way that some shows are booked it there's only so much you can do with the crowd management on there's only so many different ways you can book it and um a lot of the stuff i've been seeing on the forums is that just if you just book loads of regular matches anyway you get better better rating even with the crowd management on so it's a bit silly but i've used some of the match notes and stuff uh, what have i done here it doesn't say yeah it doesn't say oh well And I've just realised I forgot to book a pre-show match. Oh, what an idiot. I forgot to book the dark match. All right. Okay, well, no uh, 
No to Jiri and S Hernandez on this show. Oh, I should mention, uh, I was going to mention before the show, while we were backstage, uh, yeah, Hernandez uh, got took to wrestler's court for not shaking people's hands, so he's not, not paying his dues, he's, he's not being a good, uh, a good young boy. So uh, Dutch Mantel, who is the, the judge on uh, in our particular version of Wrestler's Court, made him uh, buy all the booze for everybody, so everyone's nice. Uh, after the show, actually, I think it is, so hopefully people aren't steaming now. But this is 2001, and I have got quite a few people with problems, so, you know... Could be interesting. Backstage is good at the moment, but it could all change. Right, next Sego. So this is just a quick pre-match promo for Carino, which gets a 59C, which is all right. But yeah, he's someone who needs to, I think, needs a bit of a push because of his his, his mic skills and everything. He's, he's he's actually a pretty good package. So I'm going to try and push him up out of the mid card and, and into. Hopefully a main event spot, because I, I honestly think you can do it. That right, depends who gets signed once these uh, legal issues are, are, are over with WCW. I'm expecting Vince will try and sign most of those guys as well. So it'll be a bit of a bidding war. I might end up having to pay over the odds. That might be the point where I start giving guaranteed contracts, because there are no guaranteed contracts at the moment. Right, next bit. So the actual match... Slightly better than the promo, wasn't it? Yeah, a sixty. That's that's standard. That's that's a that's a mid card match. I mean, if a mid card match, I mean, our popularity is at a sixty. So if a mid card match is about the same level as our popularity, I'm pretty happy with that. I can't really can't really complain. An old school expulsion. No idea what that means. I don't know what that move is. I'll have to look it up and see what sort of move that is. A 50 for Little Guido. Maybe I need to change his gimmick to Little Guido. Not sure. What did we book on this one? Again, it doesn't show you the match style. So it's... No, no. Oh, hang on. Yes, it does. Regular. Blah, 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 blah. Open match. Most of my matches are open. I like to book them open. And what's going on in the dirt sheet? Yes, again, it's the announcing quality, but good road agent work from Bob Orton Jr. That's that's nice. Next bit, then. Right, let's keep moving. Ooh, that's a bad one. A 29E in an abysmal match. Jazz defeated Gail Kim in 10.08 by pinfall, illegally using the ropes for leverage, so she cheated to win. Jazz got good. Yeah, all the gimmicks are coming out pretty well. That's that's good, mm, but only a 19 from Gail Kim, so that's not amazing, is it? Uh, Jazz improved in performance. That's cool. That was a regular match. Mm, Jazz got a bonus for chemistry motivation. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, and Gail Kim got penalised for chemistry motivation. I've no idea what that means then. Yeah. Alright, next bit. Uh, 29E. Right, let's have a better one. A 61C. That's alright. Mm. It's. I was expecting better from Douglas, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with that. But, I mean, 61C isn't bad, but I just thought it, there'd be something better with his entertainment. He's rated on entertainment. Maybe I should just be looking at his mic skills. Or something like that. Just have him go out there and talk. And not try and be entertaining. Don't really know how that works. But that is something. To say. That is the way you can book it. You just, book, just book it by mic skills. So that might be what I'm going to do. Yeah, it didn't improve or anything. Poor improvising. Although it doesn't... Oh, it did say that. He struggled when going off script. Maybe I need to script his promos. It's a bit weird. I, I would expect him to be able to do it. It's it's kind of a bit of a toss up whether they'll they'll struggle or not. I'd I'd rather just go with unscripted promos and and, and have them fail sometimes um, than than script them all the time because I just think it's silly. You, you, I just think you should let people talk. It's more natural. Anyway, 
moving on. This uh, 40D minus. I can't, had higher hopes for this, really, to be honest. But it had terrible wrestling in it. I don't know why. I told them to just go for it. Do a lot of high spots. That's what you'd expect from these four guys, surely. Uh, Kaz Hayashi and Stars didn't work well as a team. Doesn't say anything about the other two, so I could make them into a tag team. Looks a bit weird, though, doesn't it? Loads of uh, good improvements there, though. That's what I'm looking for from these guys, really. They're kind of like my X division. Yeah, I'm just a bit annoyed about, what did I say, high spots and just go for it. Obviously, they couldn't. Mm. Kaz and AJ both got... And De Niro, hang on. Mm. So, uh, that's weird. So, Styles got penalised for not dealing with the pressure, but he also got a bonus for going all out. And nearly everyone got a bonus. Actually, everyone got a bonus for going all out. Weird one, that one. Don't know why that, that, that got a D-. minus. I guess it's just they're just not popular enough. That's it. It's a it's a pop over performance product. So yeah, they just need to get more popular with the TV show. That'll help. All right, next bit. Uh, yeah, just a, a menace rated segment. This one for for Nightmare and Luna, an interesting pairing. Luna's a bit I shouldn't really have signed her. Because I thought she could still wrestle. She can't. And she's not an amazing manager. She's not very good on the mic. And she's got an awful psycho gimmick. That's not good, is it? I'm going to have to do something about that. Alright, next bit. Yeah. A bit of a squash match, really. Yeah, he came out of it with a good gimmick. That's about all you can say about that, really, isn't it? Another bad match. Need some better matches to get this uh, get this show going. That was the storytelling one because we, we're supposed to have one. Mm, 38 D minus is terrible, but I kind of expected that. All right, this is a bit better. 57. Yeah, all right. That's probably about what what you, what you should expect. Good gimmicks. That's really good. Uh, Cronus couldn't go that long. Uh, really good chemistry from Cronus and Angel Dust. That's interesting. That might well mean that they they feud for a little bit longer. We'll, we'll have to see because I've got Angel Dust doing doing some stuff with Savage, as you will see after this match. A flying lariat. That's a terrible special. I'll have to I'll have to remove that as well. Right, next segment then. Uh, this will be the post match promo. Or argument with Randy Savage and 83B plus, that's really good. Uh, Angel Dust and Daphne conduct a disgusting spectacle with the defeat of John Cronus, and Savage comes out to stop the madness and argues with Angel Dust. So basically, they're gonna do something, maybe they set him up for the Shattered Dreams or something like that. Anyway, they're being weird with him because they're weird, and Savage is like, I'm not having this, like, sort it out. This is my promotion, I'm not having you getting all weird about it. So he's already angry with Angel Dust, um, and that sort of starts the story. Thank God it started the storyline. I think I'm going to get the storyline bloody thing at the end of this show. Well, let's hope I've got enough of them going. All right. Ah, uh, that's awful. That's absolutely awful. Uh, yeah, good gimmicks, good gimmicks. Phil LaFon's broken his arm. <laughs> uh, good, 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 good. The gimmicks are all okay. That's that's important. Uh, oh, Medeja's gimmick is awful. Okay. The boys, the tag team were rubbish, and Daniels was the best. That's just, that's just a terrible match, isn't it? Uh, yeah, some improvements. What a terrible match. Three kind of old school guys with uh, Daniels and that was just awful. Don't know what went wrong. What went wrong, Dirt Sheet? Not a lot went wrong. Doug Furness was being a dick. Inconsistency and announced quality again kind of dragged it. But that was just, just bad, wasn't it? Like, just bad. I don't know what 
what went so wrong there. Yep, just bad. Uh, all right, next one. Uh, these two ma next two matches need to be absolutely fantastic to save this show, I think. Phil LaFon sustained a broken arm in this match. So that's the, my only tag team, and they're already done. Well, let's, I'm just not going to have a, a tag division until I can get some teams going. Obviously, oh, that's really annoying. That was, I had a whole thing. That's one of my storylines, buggered. Mm, all right. Yeah, I really expected this match to be better. That is not good at all. 46... This was meant to be brilliant. Like, what's gone wrong? they got really good gimmicks. The announcing quality lifted it, so their performance was worse than the announcing. That's... What the fuck? No, I don't kind of believe that. I think that's really bad. Yeah, that's really gutting. I have no idea what happened. What happened? All these bonuses... Inconsistency, stamina, incons they both they both couldn't go for that long. Oh, that's just really disappointing. I expected that to be a good rating. I mean, these two guys know each other. They've had good matches before. Ah, well, all right. Well, it's going to have to be an amazing main event. I actually got Rob Van Dam cutting the promo on his world title rivals, you know. A bit of a babyface promo, Mr. Laidback, Rob Van Dam. Good improvising, 66. Is that the best I can hope for at the moment from someone of his calibre? I guess it is. That's a good promo, I think, at the moment. I know Savage is popping 100s, but that's Randy Savage. That's completely different. My actual wrestlers, my in-ring guys, yeah, 60s. Uh, I don't think this show is going to go over a 60, is it? All right, this is going to have to be an absolutely fantastic main event. It's going to have to be like a 90 or something to get. <laughs> it's never going to happen, right? Okay, let's have a look. Mm, and a 67. Mm. Okay, well, I've had a 67 and a 60 in matches. So, uh, all right, we might be all right. Uh, okay, Rob Van Dam defeat Fit Finley, Douglas and Smiley. Norman Smiley was first, which is good. That's what I wanted, but you can't set it. He's the one with the worst stamina. So I wanted to set that so that he got knocked out fairly quickly. I mean, I suppose I could have done limited involvement, but I didn't want to do that. And Rob Van Dam is our inaugural world champion. That's brilliant. And... Smiley's baby face gimmick is awful, and Finley's fighting Irishman gimmick is below average. That's not very good, is it? Yeah, Smiley was a 50, Finley was a 59, Douglas is 66, and Ron Van Dam smashed it at 73. Uh, well, title storyline advances, and it gained heat. That's good. Hmm, that's good. Oh, let's end the shot. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the storylines thing. Hey, I didn't get the storylines thing. And a 69. Do you know what? That's not too bad. I mean, that 100 rated segment from Randy Savage has basically saved the show, hasn't it? It's just going to have to spam Savage. It increased our popularity in one region, which I'm guessing is the region which it was held in. And the TV... Did nothing. I guess that's it. Uh, I need to make a speech. I'm going to say, well done, Rob. Well done, Rob. Well done, Steve Kareem. No. And I don't really know who else to give props to at the moment. What was surprisingly good? Nothing was surprisingly good. All right. Steve and Rob. And I don't think I'd normally try and do three, but I don't think anyone deserves it. Maybe I should do something with Gail Kim and Or should I give someone some shit? I mean that's Yeah, that's what Randy Savage would do, wouldn't he? 
who really underperformed. Uh, them twits from the force didn't do very well, did they? Um, Psychosis and the Parker was really disappointing. Maybe I'll give one of them some shit. Who was the worst? I'm trying to remember. I'm just going to pick one at random and just give give them a bit of shit. Alright. Let's go for Leparka. So I rip into him? Yeah, fuck it. Come on, this is... this is the, Let's get crazy with this shit, you know. Because it's Randy Savage. I want to do... I, 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 I'm... I'm just I want to play it properly you know I don't want to like fuck it up but I want to fuck it up it needs to be fucked up it needs to be weird it needs to not make sense it, it, yeah I can't just game it I can't just game it I have to play this one differently so I'm doing it I'm ripping into La Parker don't you ever have a semi main event that's so shit ever again please Bobby Van Dam liked it Stevie Carino liked it oh La Parker was imitated Okay, so that's it. Uh, what's the news got to say about it? Great and drawn a lot of praise. Well, that's good. And 6,000 people is a decent crowd. And let's... Hopefully without any spoilers. Or I might have to cut. I don't think there'll be any spoilers. You know who I've got already. I just want to see how much money that made us. How much money did it make us? Okay, so we did 109,000 in ticket sales. We did 16,000 in TV revenue from the ad revenue, which is not amazing. A lot of money from the sponsors and a lot of money from the merch. Yeah, okay. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, need some pay-per-view revenue. But if I'm going to make that kind of... I'm probably going to make a little bit less than 168 um, in TV revenue, I'm probably going to make a little bit less than that for the TV show because it's in a later slot. But that kind of bodes well. I mean, it did cost me quite a lot of money to put that show on, but I do seem to remember that I did, I did put a special set in there. I did put a celebrity in there. I was meant to write that into the show. Uh, oh well, bollocks to it. Yeah, all right. We're in, we've made money this month so far, so I can't really complain. Cool, so yeah, let's uh, just have a quick look at this bit of news. The Parker says that Carl Uwele, 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 I don't know. Can't sell anything worth a damn, in my opinion. He needs to learn how to work. Fair enough. I don't really agree. Well, I don't know. I'm not that, not that impressed with Carl at the moment. Delete. Right, let's have a quick look at the medical and see how long Phil Lafon's out for. 27 days with his broken arm. And uh, that is not good. Okay, well, it's only a month. It does bugger up some of my plans, though. Right, okay. I'm not going to drug test any... What's in my drug testing thing? I've got no drug testing policy. That's probably fair enough. There'll be loads of people on drugs, I should think. Anyway, that'll do it for, for this episode, then, I guess. Um, yeah, all right, have a good one, everyone. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.